The age of Shinobi is over. I'm going to send you to the same place I sent the seventh Hokage, Boruto. I'm still a Shinobi! Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react into Boruto episode 4. So far so good guys. I enjoy the plot, I enjoy the characters. I still haven't seen a lot of children, right? I need more. Like so far we only met like Rockley's child and, and I'm assuming some of them are like Choji's that's Choji's daughter I believe and you know but I still need to see Choji his wife who did he end up with and still a lot left for me to see so I'm kind of excited right so that's dope that's dope guys they're building on this world and like I said uh, so far so good like it's episode 4 I can't expect a huge battle this early like if I, if I go back to OG Naruto the first big fight was like with Zabuza and Hakuin that's like episode 15 or 16 so there's a lot of like 10 more episodes before I can expect something like a little quote we already got that little match between Boruto and that kid that was a bully or, or what's not so I don't know I don't know guys I ain't gonna follow this that much if you enjoy my reactions feel free to share subscribe like leave a comment ring that bell for notifications guys follow me on Instagram join my Discord server and my Patreon page up further too man let's jump right into this reaction let's go Summoning? Oh, Konohamaru! Uh, uh, for a second there, I was like, they can do the summoning jutsu? Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, that's dope. So he has a toad contract too! That's a perfect summoning jutsu. The reason is, he's the grandson of the yeah. third Hokage. As always, thank you, Gamagoto. Dope. This is a great chance to ask questions, so... <laughs> I mean, he's popular with the ladies, underage ladies. <laughs> but okay. Uh, take turns, okay? Don't take let turns. That flattery gets your head, all right? Vincent. Don't be so rude to Sensei. They don't You're like being him. Way too familiar with him, buddy. Uh, no, what I meant it's was. It's so embarrassing when a man has an inferiority complex. Or it was just a joke. <laughs> Boruto. What the hell? I thought he was uh, gonna attack Konohamaru. He took the scroll like Naruto used to take the scroll, bro. Boruto, I, I kind of like Boruto, but listen, uh, I mean the character, like uh, obviously the series so far, but it looks like the girls don't like him and they actually like Konohamaru. Like he's the main attention. Summoning Jutsu! Okay, if he, if he managed to do it. That Jutsu won't work unless you first sign your name in the scroll. Yeah. And enter into a contract with the animal. <sighs> Man, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have been so surprised if he actually managed to do something. Like, what the hell? How the hell? Yeah, of course. You need to yeah remember with blood and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's a dope concept. So wait, you're telling me they're already going to get their own summoning contracts with an animal? Okay. Who's going to get the snake? <laughs> That's going to be dope. Let, listen, I'm going to fast forward the opening and it will continue. Okay, guys, I fast forwarded the opening. Oh, let's go. You can't use the summoning jutsu without a contract with a summoning the battle animal. of the sexes? Deal that must be signed in blood. So if I write my name down... I'll be able to summon that giant frog thing too? You're still stuck on that? We'll begin by summoning ninja tools. Ten ten? <laughs> We're starting with that? Reptiles aren't the only summoning animals around. There are monkeys, like Lord Thirds, or dogs like Lord yep. Sixths. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that my mom summoned a weasel once. Yeah, I'm also pretty... Yeah, she did summon a weasel, like a <laughs> horny possum, <laughs> as I used to say. It. But listen, uh, some OG badasses summoned Kurama. Madarauchi! <laughs> I would find a dog. A cat would be nice, too. Yeah, any animal that's cute would be better, right? Yeah, as long as it's strong, then it can be ugly. <laughs> oh, I know. How about a snake? Because they're cool and they seem really strong, too. What I want is a scorpion. Oh, screw the scorpion. My man Boruto has a taste, man. He has good taste. Man, snakes? Hell yeah. Listen, I understand this show is around Boruto and they're concentrating on Boruto and his life. But it would be dope if, if I just... Just for once, get to see where where are, where are our guys? Like Sasuke and Naruto, like, where are they? This is still their world. 
Like, I would assume Sasuke is somewhere over there. Like, we, we aren't seeing much of their parents. I need more, right? I need more. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop. I know it, it's around Boruto. It's dope. It's dope. But I'm just... Mm, I want to see them. Nope. Pick a gorilla for power. <laughs> if you want to creep out an enemy based on looks, how about a spider? But we're in an age where looking stylish and cool counts, too. You should talk. No one's further from stylish and cool than you, Chubbs. <laughs> Whatever. Chubbs. I'm... Yeah, I'm telling you, that's Shoji's daughter. Maybe a little bit chubby, but my moves are totally stylish and cool. All of us should summon a giant animal together. Huh? <laughs> that's... Oh. Hey, that sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. You really think we can do Don't it? Don't try anything huh? stupid. Whenever you guys do stupid stuff, we just end up getting lumped in along with you. We don't do stupid things, you know? <laughs> one of us destroyed a Hokage's great stone face on day one. I mean... And we had that incident in the training hall. Yeah. I gotta say, our class does stand out. Yeah, come to think of it, you're always causing trouble for Yo. us. Yo! It's not like you girls are totally innocent. You're always gossiping on about something and wasting your lives on silliness. Bruh, I'm oh. telling you, bro. I love size and Inu's kid. He's just so, he's a legend. He doesn't hold anything back. Just like Sai, only this kid is actually savage because I think he does have a sense of, of what's going on. Sai didn't. Sai didn't know what he, he should or should not say. This boy just knows where to target you. He's just, he's just a dick and I love it. <laughs> Our girl talk is different than the vulgar things that you boys are always talking about. Just don't do anything childish. How are we childish? What does that even mean? Just like that. Getting all riled up is childish. What was that? I mean, right. to be fair, you got up in his face and you're... Co right, right? But yeah, the, the title was like uh, the battle of the sexes, right? So yeah, they, they're... Okay, looks like That's they're gonna battle. Now listen, you guys. Don't forget that we're still in class right now. And didn't they like they started the academy? So this is before they get assigned teams, right? We were team seven, right? Groups of three, or is that not a thing anymore? Even in this era, there are so many who are eager to become ninja, and they have so much energy. <laughs> and remember, your generation was full of rivalry and competition. Sasuke, Sakura, Shikamaru, oh. and Lord Seventh too. <laughs> All of you left your mark for posterity. Yeah, bro. When Konohamaru told him your generation, I was like, wait, aren't you? And I, then I, it dawned on me, Konohamaru's the little kid. There's an age gap between these two. Yeah. The determination of not wanting to lose matures a person. What happened to Konohamaru's squad? You remember that little girl, that guy with the snot? <laughs> yeah, like we're, we're seeing, like, we skipped a whole generation as it seems. Hey, you and Sarada were childhood friends, right? What? Really? Our parents were kind of sort of friends a hundred years ago. Nothing more to it than That's that. That's the girl. It's not like we actually like each with other, With the glasses. You know? Your relationship with her sure seems like a real drag. Sorry, but I'm afraid that I only oh, have come one on. left. I always get a yakisoba bun from here every time they have them, you know? Well, since you know that, then this bun is... Is mine, and that's that. How does that make any kind of yeah. sense? It's simple. Since you always eat them, all the more reason to try a different one. To be honest, since you're always causing trouble, maybe it's better if you don't feel right for a change. Okay, she's just pissing me off at this point. <laughs> she, I don't think she even wants it. She's just doing it to piss him off. <laughs> so that's kind of infuriating. But yeah... They should sell this with rock, paper, scissors or something. That would be fair considering they ordered at the same time. Or none of them should get it. <laughs> but besides all that, ever since I heard this bun was so good, I've been dying to try it. Okay. What? Oh, come on! Did you really buy them all, Chocho? It's only fair that you share a couple of those with us. You there you go. Thanks so much. She took it! Hey, come on! Drop that bun! Sorry, you snooze, you lose. Look, the last yakisoba bun is mine! Normally, a gentleman would agree to defer to a lady. Yeah, well, maybe if you were a lady. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? What do you think, genius? <laughs> yeah, they don't seem to. These girls don't seem to be acting their age. Like, oh, I'm a lady. I mean, you're a kid. <laughs> but okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> what happened? Did a boy do something again? This the same thing as before? I say that we just let him have it out. It'll clear the air. Take it. Right, Boruto? They're gonna fight? Stop okay. right there. Sensei. Smart. <laughs> it's forbidden for academy students to fight. After class. 
I'll prepare a battleground for you. Oh, they're gonna fight? The both of you. Fight with all your passion. And settle this once and for all! I mean, I don't know how smart that is, but I guess they should get it out because there's some tension building over here between the girls and the boys because the boys keep causing trouble. Yeah, I get it. Let's go. Let's go. You start from here, and the first one to grab the flag at the top of the main building wins. Okay. Just leave this one to me. Earth yeah. Mud wall. Mud wall. Okay. He's gonna block the entrance. Now go. Hey, thanks, Iwabe. Sure. She's gonna break through. Yup. Those are some Joji jeans. Well, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Wait, hold on. Nara, he's mastered the shadow user jutsu passed on by his father. I only did this because the others asked. <laughs> now, can he sustain it? What? What's going on? What? <laughs> Bro, that was a wrap, right? <laughs> they were done. He got them all. I mean, he could have sustained it in for uh, right long enough for them to get the flag, and that's done. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I've laid a few small traps throughout the school grounds. Uh -huh. Damn it! What is Shino Sensei thinking with all this stuff anyway? At this rate, the school's gonna get destroyed. Okay. Okay. Metal Lee. He always gives everything he's He's strong, own. man. Regretfully, he's lacking. I will. Did that girl have a tail? Is that Kiba's kid? Like, that girl had a tail, if I'm not mistaken. Right here. Good. Uh, Metal, are you okay? No, uh, of course. Stage fright. Sarada Uchiha. Top of the class in Shuriken Jutsu. <laughs> She's got the Uchiha blood. Sarada Uchiha? Uchiha? That's... I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> that's Sasuke's and Sakura's kid? Okay, that's completely on me. I was imagining a boy. I'm sorry. I don't know why, but... That's on me. That's on me. So... Bruh, the glasses threw me off. Neither Sasuke nor Sakura wear glasses. Why the hell? You're in Uchiha, your strongest... Bruh. The strongest ability she holds would be her eyes. I mean, I guess she hasn't unlocked the Uchika gene yet, right? She's young, but you wear glasses and you're an Uchika? That's that. Yeah, that threw me off. Yeah, I was trying to remember who wear who wore glasses in our gen, right? But nobody did. <laughs> now she has glasses. Yo, she's the Uchika. Now, that's completely on me. Yo, uh, that's completely on me. It hadn't even occurred to me that Sasuke would have a daughter and not a son. So, damn. Okay. Okay. What did they see? No Sarada? to push ourselves and go inside the building. All we have to do is get to the rooftop. That's kind of dope. Like, her name is Sarada, right? And the first four letters of that name is my sister's name, Sada. So, Sada Da. That's dope. <laughs> That's easy to remember. <laughs> it's a new electronic lock. Leave it to me. My man's gonna hack it? Yo. All right. I just had a really good idea. I also had a really good idea. Why don't you just jump to the roof and not go like, <laughs> like you're normal humans? <laughs> Ninja art, super beast scroll. Oh, so he hacked the system. Calm down, all of you. Oh, that backfired. I still can't seem to get it to work like my dad's does. Oh, now's the time. Wait, I thought the. Water was kind of destroying the ink, but looks like Eno Gin, right? That's also easy to remember because it's Eno and then Gin, like Gin Tonic. <laughs> so he can't control the beast scroll like his pops can. So it looks like they're all OP, have a lot of potential, but a lot of work to do as well. 
Very interesting. Did you see like Sarada, right? Sarada, uh, she was all calm and cool. All the girls were like freaking out because it's a toad. It's like disgusting, this and that. Don't know what's happening. And she was like level headed. That does remind me of an Uchiha, but yo, that's Sasuke's kid. That's Sasuke's child right there because he's the only Uchiha left. So damn. Yo, my man did say he's gonna, right, restore his clan and kill a certain someone. So he already did the latter. So, yo, my man just started the restoring the clan. <laughs> did you guys seriously believe that you could get away from us? Dicky, come on, man. Just forget about me, you guys. Come yeah, on. he's a hostage now. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> I'll save you. No, you won't. Watch out. We can't go through the building. We can't defeat that many girls. But if they're inside the building, we'll reach the rooftop from the outside. Inojin and I will be decoys while you get to the rooftop from the outside. Just leave it to me, you know? But even if he makes it up to the roof, how's he gonna fight off all the girls? I'll use summoning jutsu. There should be some scrolls inside this prep room. Summoning's impossible. Even if I summon a small frog, it'll still freak them all out. <sighs> All right, let's get this Yeah, plan. something tells me this plan ain't good because Boruto is an Uzumaki. He has a lot of chakra. Imagine him summoning Kudama or some shit like that. Really? Right? I mean, yeah, I guess he's a kid. He can't summon that big, something that big, but maybe Gamabunta, right? And Gamabunta isn't really... I mean, Gamabunta is old as hell right now, right? So Gamatatsu or Gamakichi, but still, man, they're not that friendly when they don't know you. So I would assume... He shouldn't mess with things like that, especially when the teachers told him not to do it, right? Very interesting. Let's go. Yeah, he's gonna do a boo-boo, isn't well? he? Oh, it's no good. It's really solid. Shadow clone jutsu. <gasps> yeah. They could have just done that in the very beginning, like I said. Just jump to the roof, like don't go <laughs> like a normal person. <laughs> yes. Look, let's just do it. Seriously? Okay. I mean, pretty sure Choji's kid could have just smashed through, but hey. He's really gonna, but he doesn't have a contract. What did she mean? What? That was a forbidden scroll or something. The hell? I mean... Okay, nice save. You guys. Yo. What happened to stylish and cool? I'm sorry. Snake, I think you overdid it. But that's not. That's not a snake. That's a. What is that thing? Yeah. That's dope. Oh, good. We're saved. I'm tired <laughs> and I'm hungry. Hey, whatever that was reckless. The flag. It probably blew up with everything uh, else. Uh, uh, oh, she got no it. The, the thing is, you guys, you sure are idiots. There's no doubt. Hmm? I mean, that did look like a snake. I mean, that part of it like looked like a snake, but the, the, the whole thing is like a right. Or am I missing something? Also, they did a dope thing here, making uh, Sasuke's child a daughter because now a lot of you guys finally get what you always wanted Sarada and Boruto to hook up you always joked that Naruto and Sasuke love each other <laughs> so now you actually get the real thing <laughs> that's really sorry Chocho I didn't mean to put you in danger there wasn't a rule that said summonings were supposed to be prohibited so I guess it's okay really I'm assuming that you have no complaints that we won right no. Since 
Once you Thank saved you. me, we're just gonna take a rain check on the prize from this competition. You did manage to get Chocho out of a bad situation. Yeah, for real. True. You guys might not be up to my standards yet, but I'll deem you acceptable just this once. If you can learn to work together, you can take on even the strongest opponents. Is that it? Exactly. Seriously? Why didn't you just say that right from the start? What a weird <laughs> true, analogy, dude. True. But before that, you need to clean up. Oops. Yo. They destroyed the school? You'll be having class outside for a while. Yo. Still, that monster earlier. Yeah, How could well, Boruto summon that thing with the amount of chakra he has. That was confusing, yeah. Uh, what? Who's this? Well, yo, they're just introducing new things, and okay, I like it. But yeah, that thing was like, was that the same thing like from the beginning of the last episode? Like that monster? Like, what is happening? Something is happening here. Something. There's a subplot here that they're introducing that I'm just trying to catch up with, but I can't. So yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. And I assumed like he ain't gonna summon no chode frogish thing, right? It's Boruto, Naruto's kid. He's gonna summon a gigantic creature. It looks like he did. But that girl almost died. What, what's her name? Chocho? <laughs> Is that what they said or am I tripping? But yeah, he managed to save her so the girls are like, thank you, I guess. But yeah, they did beat us. I'm surprised. Like, looks like Sarada and Chocho, right? I'm working on the names, okay? Looks like they're the main cast of the girls. And they were enough to kind of... I, I mean, they weren't going all out. I, I still believe that the guys are stronger. I mean, come on. But yeah, they did kind of emphasize that Inojin, right? He has... He's struggling with the beast scroll and all that. So they're not... Oh, they're not on that level yet, right? But they are very talented and full of potential. So, listen, I'm gonna leave it at that. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye, guys. Love you.